This video provides guidance for applying last factory tape preservative. If this is older tape, you probably should dehydrate it first. The polymer that binds tape's magnetic particles to the substrate absorbs moisture which initiates acidic decay. If you open a tape box and notice the smell of vinegar, that's acid. In any case, dehydration is a good idea. Give a full squeeze of the pipette to fill just into the bulb and apply to the applicator. Remember to put the cap back on and lay the applicator gently on the tape. On my Akai, I get a nice little supported space here. If yours doesn't, you still get the idea. Move the applicator around a little, and the very low surface tension preservative will keep being applied to the tape. One applicator full of preservative is good for 12 to 1800 feet of tape. If you have a 2400 foot reel, stop about halfway and refill the applicator. You will likely get a bit of both dirt and loose oxide on the applicator. It has a very microscopically open synthetic sponge tip, so as well as it holds the liquid, it also grabs dirt and particles. To clean the applicator, use isopropyl alcohol, work it into the tip, and blot out the dirt with a towel. You may do this a couple of times, and in 30 seconds to a minute, you'll have a clean applicator. Your tape is now protected for years, will run smoother and last longer. Mark it so in the next decade you'll know you still don't have to do a thing to it. It's the last minute and I have a few seconds left to point you to thelastfactory.com. Check out our preservation and cleaning fluids, trusted by music lovers for over 40 years. You have collected great music, protect it with last formulas.